peace, love, light, wisdom, guidance, blessings, and discernment. Beautiful souls in this world, I you don't know we are not of this world. Cool baby day, I you don't know the thing already. As you can probably hear, I am out here near the main road, so you might hear a lot of cars, trucks, and all these things. I would try to talk as loud as possibly, okay? Um, but however, I did want to mention it. It's funny because God emphasized this to me, right, a couple days ago. But I've just been having so much happening, so much going on in these last couple days. I've been so busy and I've been moving around crazy. But I'm just grateful. I'm grateful that God has given me a purpose. I'm grateful that God has given me um, a business, a ministry. I'm grateful that God has given me something to put my hands to the plow. And so that's what has me busy, right? Um, so even though sometimes I'm tired and sometimes I, it's a good tired. It's a good, um, I don't want to say I'm drained. It's a good tired and it, it feels good. It, it even fuels me that I'm able to, you know, complete and, and finalize and, and uh get things off of my to-do list from the holy spirit when it comes to the ministry when it comes to my business and all these things so overall i am grateful so however the word that i'm speaking of that god emphasized to me a couple days ago is one word one word and that word is compassion compassion now the reason why god has emphasized it to me in my spirit the other day was because i was sharing with someone um some insight you know from christ and um insight that god has shared with me in my life and about a certain situation or you know x y and z and so you know as after god has like delivered me from so much in my life he delivered me from being in the world and of the world right um he delivered me he brought me out cleaned me up and all these things remember coolie baby expresses if you have been keeping up you know, I know we have a lot of new subscribers. Big up on yourself. You done know the thing already. I love you guys. I'm so grateful to have you guys. Welcome to the family. Um, but growing up, I was never able to express myself now with family. As I got older, not with, you know, partners or anything. Like, I was not ever able to express myself and who I truly am. I actually was running away from who I truly was, all right? Why? That's a whole nother story. But, um so that was the case now that god has cleaned me up and everything god has given me a voice of expression he's given me a spirit of expression right to express his word his gospel my truth that aligns with his word you know so now you know in the last what three or so years i've been very expressive okay i went from not speaking at all to speaking probably a little bit too much <laughs> no you can never talk too much when you're talking about the gospel right so um as i was talking to this person i realized like the expressiveness and the passion that i always have like how i'm speaking to you now this is not even as passionate as i can get right but you know i was being very passionate because i have been through that i whatever we were talking about the specific situation i have gone through that i have been through that and so now that i see that they're struggling with what i have overcame and came out of what god delivered me from i was very passionate i was speaking to them with passion and all these things right so the person you know we finished the conversation they were like yeah okay whatever we not yeah okay whatever they you know we came to agreement and you know they went their way and i went mine right and so after i said hmm lord am i too passionate like do i need to tone down the passion you know what i'm saying like i don't know why i just felt like you know to question like was i too passionate like did I, was I too passionate that I rubbed that person the wrong way or X, Y, and Z, you know what I'm saying? Um, now, there's a big difference, and I did a video on this a minute ago, but there's a difference on being aggressive and being passionate, okay? You will be able to see someone's passion, right? For what it is, you can see that they just either, you know, went through that thing or they really love that thing or whatever the case is and then there's a difference between that and being aggressive you can tell when somebody's being aggressive you know what i'm saying and so that's never me i'm never being aggressive i always have passion for what i speak for my testimony and things like that right so god brought to me he said no daughter why would you turn the passion on the passion come from your testimony okay your passion allows people to see that your passion is a fruit of you 
testifying of what you've been through, of what you made it out of, of what you conquered, of what you overcame. So no, your passion is good. But, but, God said but, and I'm like, okay, so there's something else, okay? So God said, but we are to be compassionate. Now, what word is in the word compassion? Is passion not in the word compassion? So, there's a lot of people that feels like, or people may make you feel like, oh, it's wrong to have too much passion, or it's wrong to have passion. No, it's not at all. In fact, God tells us to be compassionate, right? Having compassion, and matter of fact, in Ephesians 4, chapter 4, verse 32, it tells us we are to be compassionate towards one another. We are to be forgiving towards one another, just as God, just as Christ, right? Jesus was compassionate with us. He didn't have to be, but he was. He was compassionate with us, and he also was very forgiving with us. So this is the same way that we have to, you know, embody and, and, and act towards our beloved brothers and our beloved sisters in Christ, right? So when God brought this to my attention, I was like, wow, okay, Jesus, I, I, I comprehend that I can have the passion, right? Actually, the passion is going to be there whether I try to, you know, turn it down or not. The passion is going to be there. Why? Because I literally naturally went through that thing. I literally naturally just love, I, I have a love for that thing, whatever the thing may be, right? That passion will always be there. No matter how you try to turn it down, it will remain because it's organic, it's natural. Did you not, did you really go through that thing then it's gonna be natural it's gonna be organic right i pray that makes sense and also in first peter chapter 3 verse 8 um it, it you know we were we were told to be humbled be like-minded be compassionate right right we were told to be these this this way towards one another so I come to also edify you as the Holy Spirit edified me when it comes to being passionate and having compassion towards somebody. You can be passionate. Your passion will be there because it's true. It's real. It's not a fake thing. If it's fake, then you can just turn your passion over. But it's, if it's not fake, your passion will be there. But God needs us to, as at, at the same time of us being, comp uh, at, at the same time of us being passionate. We also have to remember to be compassionate to our fellow neighbors, to our brothers and our sisters. Because like I said, what me and that person was talking about, they were they were currently going through something that I have came out of. So right now in this season, in this current time, they don't have the heart and the mindset and the passion for that thing just yet because they're currently going through now when god brings them out when they go through the journey and the process and god brings them out and delivers them out of that thing guess what they're gonna see the move in the hand of god and yeah that passion is gonna arise because they're gonna know who their god is and they're gonna have that passion that they gotta tell that testimony but in the time where some people have not gone through and overcame and conquered the very thing that you might have you have to have compassion for that person. You have to show compassion. As you have passion telling your testimony, you have to also show compassion so that they can understand and comprehend, okay? That you may not have reached the ending point, the outcome where God has literally delivered you. Y'all be getting tongue tied. <laughs> but you are headed there beloved you are headed there you're gonna get there i'm a living testimony that you are seeing with your natural eyes that i came out of it so beloved you will too you know what i'm saying let your compassion and your passion coexist compassion and passion can coexist okay and this is what holy spirit brought to my attention and i just had to share with you guys it's time for us to continue to be passionate don't stop that because you can't stop it anyway if it was real and it's time for us to show and be and have compassion towards our neighbor okay passion being passionate and, and being compassion and having compassion can coexist and and we need to start and you know embodying that and, and letting people see that you can be passionate and have compassion at the same time right and i know a lot of people a lot of people try to you know say being passionate is aggressive it's, it's not it's not it's not at all you have to know the difference it's not at all so let your passion and your compassion coexist 
and that alone will edify people to no matter what situation or circumstance that they are in they can come out they will come out and they will continue to move forward all right i love you guys so much bless up yourself i am actually about to head to uh some clients right today is my busy day so i will see you guys next time but i love you so much make sure you tune into coolie baby express's podcast go see the movie monday and the movie monday live stream that we just did and i will see you on the next video i love y'all so much bless yourself you're done with the team already Mwah. The world is I thought you said anything opposite that lies that I can't